Hey there, it's Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for March 30th through April 5th, 2020. Uh, we're going to use the Pharaoh, Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine today. And of course, we're going to draw three cards to see what the energy is for this upcoming week. We have them jumping out already at me. Actually, I want to take that one too. So that's one and two. Take one more card, that energy forecast of the week, messages from the universe that we need to know. We're going to take that top card again for card number three this week. All right, let's see what we have. So our first card is Princess of Summer, gentle, sensitive, kind, inexperienced, a new relationship or emotional experience, invitations to social events, not right now, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. I like where this is going already. Let's see, card number two is the Nine of Summer. Uh, wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. I know it doesn't feel very magical for a lot of people right now, but I feel like there is some serious magic happening. Uh, our last card, a major arcana card, uh, number 11, which is strength. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. Oh, show it to you. Um, I love this reading this week. This really speaks to the situation that we are currently facing right now in the world. Um, there is a huge energetic shift that is happening right now uh, with everything that's going on. Now, I ask you not to go to a place of fear during this time. Um, every time I check in with what's going on, I always get this deep sense of calm. If we are listening to ourselves and listening to our intuition and we're staying self-isolated and doing what needs to be done right now to, to change things, things feel very calm. So that is what we're doing and that feels very calm and very peaceful and that is very much what I've been guided to do from the very beginning. I have been very clearly guided to self-isolate that that is really important um, for my own health and the health of my family right now. So I will share that with you. Um, when it comes to this reading this week, it is definitely a new time. They're talking about new relationships and an emotional experience. It is definitely a time of high emotions. Um, everyone's emotions are all over the place, including my own, uh, dealing with the situation, the fallout that comes with it, the shifts and changes that had to occur to be able to function um, right now. Um, I'm managing a yoga studio online at the moment, which is a huge and a huge challenge, um, you know, navigating that and how do we do things and what do we do for our students and how do we make it so that we can still have a community um, even in a time when we can't get together. Um, I just finished teaching an online yoga class and it was beautiful to see all my students' names up there and of course the thank yous and stuff at the end and the requests to see my dog who comes to work with me all the time. Um, it made me miss my students even more. Um, Wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time. As well, we talk about this embracing this and how wonderful we are. Um, I think this is a time of deep magic. It is a time for us to really take deep breaths and go within, whether you are on the front lines, um, you know, as grocery clerks or nurses, doctors, sanitation crews. Um, you guys are so important and we thank you so much for trying to keep this place as safe as can be um, to the manufacturers that are producing the products that are needed to help um, move us through this for, you know, protective gear and um, medications and food and all the things we need. Um, Regardless of that or whether you're at home um, not working at all or trying to navigate working from home, maybe with kids at home um, or just the challenges of the technology that's needed for working from home, we need to just stop throughout the day and take a deep breath and be grateful that we can take that deep breath and that we are alive and that we are healthy and that we are living in a world where, you know, technology is sharing with us and there are advancements and people are learning and things are just incredible. Um, 
there is this most beautiful sense of community that I have seen over this last little while. You know, people coming together, um, finding ways to socialize, and maybe we're socializing even more now than we did when we had the opportunity to. Um, taking time as a collective, you know, connecting with family and friends, making sure they're safe, but also just connecting with them, which is so nice to see faces and, you know, talk to them if you're using, you know, video, Zoom, FaceTime, whatever it is that you use, Skype. Um, and that's incredible. Uh, people, you know, helping each other, uh, getting groceries for one another, helping seniors, uh, creating community, cre creating resources. Uh, it is all so magnificent right now if we can just see it for what it is. We can step away from fear and propaganda and just step into the beauty that is all around us right now. Um, yes, we have a lot to overcome over these next few months. Uh, yes, it is a scary time, but we don't have to be afraid. The universe has brought about this shift, this well-needed shift, because we've become so isolated in our technology um, that we've forgotten how to be a community. And so we're being reminded in this moment, a huge reminder of the community that we have and that surrounds us. That is so special in this time. So um, be kind with each other, be compassionate, take care of one another. You know, we can get through this, but we need to do it together. We are stronger when we are all together as one. So lift each other up and support one another. You know, share your laughter, share your joy, share the things that brighten your life, share your recipes, man, because all that stuff everybody is posting looks so good on social media. We all may gain, you know, instead of the freshman 15, <laughs> maybe it'll be the Corona 15. Um, so come do some yoga with me to exercise. Uh, but yeah, it's a magical time. So please see it for what it is. Uh, you know, make those connections, create community, um, find a little love, find a little peace, find a little quiet, sit down, read a book, take a moment, just be present and love the people that surround you. <sighs> Never take a hug for granted ever again. All right. From my heart and soul to yours, have a wonderful rest of your week.